Okay, so in the first part of this video, I am just doing my everyday skincare. So I'm double cleansing. First cleanse is with the smoothing cleanser. Second is with Clear Skies. Then I use the vitamin toner with eye work under the eyes. I am actually here popping in a little bit of hair serum, but I'll leave links below for the hair stuff. I'm finishing off with Glowberry Serum. And then I'm mixing Skin Face Moisturiser with Skin Drops. Okay, so good morning girls. It's been, I think, a week since I was last on. But it's today is the day that mm -hmm. I'm going to do the makeup look. Um, I had to wait for ages for the makeup stuff to come back in stock. So I was able to get a little collection. So I've got BB, which is the Beauty Booster Foundation Powder. Uh, the Illumina lipstick and a palette. So I'm going to just do sort of like an everyday quickie makeup. Nothing too dramatic. I'll save the dramatic for when a few more shadows arrive. But I'm going to start my primer with, I'm going to be using, oh, it's hard to see because it's a reflectant, um, Tropic Sunday SPF 50. Um, on my face so I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand and I'm going to use this as my primer they say it's fantastic for keeping your makeup on so I, just before I start this I'm going to add in or you'll have seen that I'll have added in my morning routine so I already have that done and I always mix sun drops in in the morning with my moisturizer just to give you that wee glow Mmm, the smell of the bang. So I'm just going to rub that in. What I'll do is, is I'll put this on this morning and then do like a couple of check-ins for you. So like check-in at lunchtime and then I'll do like a check-in at um, tea time. And a check in before I go to bed or something like that, just to let you see how it wears. I'll not do any touch up apart maybe from mm -hmm. if the lips need some. So that's that on. So now I'm using the Beauty Booster in shade Smooth Caramel. Mm -hmm. um, I have been setting in the sun. <laughs> so I'm hoping this colour, oh yeah, I think it should be fine. So I'm just putting some of it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use the little stippling brush just to apply that. So I'm just going to go straight in and just stipple it on. This makes it so quick and so easy to apply. I'm just going to bring it down my neck because obviously I have been in the sun so I want to make sure that I'm all blended. And as I say this wee brush is fab, puts it on in a minute. What I like about this is you can just wear this on its own as just like a tinted moisturiser type BB or you can use the powder and set it and make it a more full coverage makeup which I am going to do today just to show you plus I would be a little bit oily so I mean, you can see the glow of that it's just divine it really is divine and you can still see my natural freckles so it's not covering all that up And that's a really good match for my skin at the moment. Oh, I can't get over that. So pretty. I've actually washed my hair today. I've used all the Tropic stuff. I'm really loving it in my hair as well. You'll see that kind of through that end of the skincare video this morning. Just always go over my ears. Makeup artist thing. I'm now going to go in 
with, I always put wet products on first. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Illumina um, concealer. I'm just trying that. It's in shade Brule. Brule. And I'm just going to pop some under my eyes. This is a brightener. And I'm just going to go in with a stipple and brush again and just sort of go underneath the under eye area. And just bring it right on to the lid. See it's left like a brightness under the eye, it just lifts them. You can put a wee bit down the bridge of the nose if you want. So what's everybody been doing then in isolation? Excuse the noise of the tractors. It's the easiest place to do this is my bedroom. Because I can close the Hallions out. So now that's done. I'm going to use the double ended face perfection brush. And I'm going to use the slightly more domed end. And I'm going to use the mineral foundation and smooth caramel now i really wanted to get the translucent in this and i forgot to put it on the order so i'm just going to literally dust put some on and dust a bit off it's just to set my under eye so it just doesn't crease but i obviously don't want it really strong under there because ideally i would be setting it with something more translucent but it does the job so then i'm going to go in with the bigger brush and i'm going to just it in and it's quite smart because it fills the brush and then you just I'm just going to work it all over what I've just put on mm -hmm. Let's see again on the head you can go as heavy as you want with this as I've already said but I'm just literally wanting enough just to set it so it doesn't move but you can still see your glow through it's probably I use glowberry as well and out of the skincare and it just leaves a nice glowy dew on the skin underneath so I'm pretty happy with that being enough then I'm going to go in with my compact and I'm going to go in with I picked a shimmery blush um called Ro I'll write all the names below. I think it was Rose Golden. But I'll be telling a lie. But yeah I'm just loving how that looks on my my skin. So I'm gonna go in with the powder brush and I'm gonna pick up some of that rose golden blush and just smile and just Pop a wee bit, dust a wee bit on my cheek. So it has got, as I say, it is one of the highlighters. And it has got a shimmer in it. But I think it's beautiful as a blush. And the same on this side. I will take a photograph um, of the finished look so you can see I'll try and get it in the best light that I can. So yeah I'm loving that bit of blush. And then going to go in with the domed end again of the precision face brush and I'm going to go in with the highlighter which is this one just ever so slightly and just highlight just sort of round the eye area 
just to brighten that up in the cheekbone keeping it above the blusher and I want to pop a wee bit on the lid just where your brow would be just to give a wee glue like so and then also going to use just one of the eye brushes this is the flat detailing brush I'm going to use there's two ends so I'm going to use a smaller end and I'm going to go in with the highlighter again and I'm just going to pop it in the inner corner just like so just to brighten it I don't know if you can see the difference just brightens it up and just the same on this inner corner like so it just makes your eyes feel more awake. I am then going to go in with if I can find the brush. Yeah. Is the 3 in 1 eye brush. So I'm going to go in with the carbo on my brows now. This brush is a three-way brush, so it's great. So I'm just going to brush my brows up into place. And I really don't want to put a lot of product into them. I just want to keep them as natural as I can, because this is a natural look. So I'm just going to pop a wee bit on this, and I'm just going to start about a finger space in and just push a wee bit of product, just to give a wee bit of definition. right through the centre out of the tail and just pan a wee bit up through the front that's enough it just gives it a wee tiny bit of shape and then the same on the other side Again, just fanning it up so in case you wonder where I'm looking I'm looking in my mirror this is a great big one just any wee gappy bits you might see just push the products through For my brows. I am then going to just warm the face up a little bit using the powder brush and I'm going to go in with the bronzer here and I'm just going to go in from the top of my ear and create a wee bit of definition. And give myself a bit of a cheekbone. Just adds a wee bit of dimension back in, just up into the hairline. Same on this side. Use a smaller rounded brush and just bring a wee bit down the bridge of my nose. On both sides. And then the bigger brush again and just round, blend it round my jawline. 
Hold on. Like so. Now, unfortunately, um, the mascara has been out of stock, so I haven't been able to get my hands on it yet. But um, I'm just going to pop on a wee bit of mascara to finish the look. I'll come back. going to do my hair, put some curls in it. I'll come back on and put on my lipstick, and that'll be the look finished. So if you just give me, well, this will be instant, but 10 minutes, I'll be back, okay? Okay, so I might have told the porky pie. I have the fibres of the mascara. So I'm just going to use an old black mascara that I have. Hair's looking a bit more like me. Um, so I'm just going to pop on some black mascara. Just until my tropic one comes, and then these are the brush on fibers. Mm. And can I say this is the first time I've used this? Bear with me till I get my wee mirror. See when you're half blind. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so you can layer it up slightly. So I'm just going to put another layer of my mascara to seal it. And then I'm going to just brush another wee bit of fibres in. Oh, here. Wow. Who needs false eyelashes at the minute? Okay, damn, girl. No wonder this stuff's been out of stock. And then I'm just going to seal it. Wow. Can you see that? Unbelievable. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this and take a photo. <laughs> Okay, so I am totally, hello, for all you girls who normally wear eyelashes and can't at the minute, this will be your favourite best friend. I'm completely shook, so I'm just going in with some. Yes, and then fibres. And then back in with some satin. And just like I did on the other eye, layered up. Seal it. Huh? Excuse the background. Like, that's unbelievable. 
okay okay then to finish it off i'm going to go in with go 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 g uh, usually i'd use a lip liner but again I haven't got around to order one of the lip liners so I'm just going to go in direct now I don't normally wear a lot of colour but I thought I would go something summery so oh my goodness it's so soft Pure butter. Obviously, if this was in my kit, I would be using the lip brush to apply it, but. Wow, I love that. <laughs> so that is a wee quick, simple, everyday makeup look. I'm going to lift it up now and look. It's not the best of the day, but just to let you see. I'm going to try and snap a few photos to let you see. And I'm going to link all the products I've used down below the video if anybody has any queries as to pricing or because with the makeup packet packages there's ways of buying them that you can add to them also there's ways of buying like the powders and foundations and concealers and stuff together and you end up getting like a free brush or something so if you want me to run through anything at all with you just pop me a wee message and i'll get right back to you but yeah I actually feel good putting makeup on. It's been too long. <laughs> so I'll catch you later. Bye.